Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool product showroom or an opener using After Effects. So let's get into the tutorial. And before we start, I would love for you to stay till the end because I have a bonus tip just for you. So I'm using the 9C20 by 1080 composition. Then we'll create a new comp and we'll name this waves and we'll make the width 2000 and the height 2000 as well and press ok then grab your shape tool and draw a long rectangle then we're going to add the gradient ramp to it so apply that to your layer and make your black a, a blue light blue color you can copy the color code from your screen so using a light blue and press ok you can keep the end and start points of your ramp at those areas then we keep our anchor point at the center then press ctrl d to duplicate this layer and make this white then duplicate that top layer again and bring it down. So just repeat this process to fill up the space on your screen. Then pre-compose the layer, then add waves wrap to it. Make your wave height 60 and wave width 270 and wave speed 0.8. Then press S for scale, we don't to see those black edges, so scale up your comp, which is OK. Then bring, go to your main comp and bring in your waves composition, make it a 3D layer, duplicate it and name it wave bottom. Press R for rotation and go to your X rotation and make it 90. Then press P for position and make this 1540 and make this minus 1000 so I'm going to change my camera angle and zoom out to see so once you have this L shape just know you're on the right path so duplicate this layer and name this wave top then press P for position and make this minus 460 so it snaps at the top side so duplicate this layer again and name this wave right. Press R for rotation and make your Y rotation 90. Then press P for position and make this 1960. Then make this 540 so it snaps at the right side. Then duplicate this layer one more time and, and name this wave left. Then press P for position and make this minus 40. So feel free to copy this. Then create a new camera. Make sure it's 50 millimeters. Then go to your zoom camera options and zoom and make it 550. Create a new null object and parent your, parent your camera to that null object. So create a new light and make sure it's a point light and you can use the default settings. Press OK. So press P for your null and scale it up to fill up the space. I think it's okay. So I don't like the waves by the side. So we're going to improve on that by going to wave right and making your Z, Z rotation to, to 90 and making your wave left. Press R for rotation, go to Z rotation and make it minus 90 as well. So you have this cool edge. So in order to first have this showroom, we have to animate our null. So press P for position and increase it to around 230. So create a keyframe for position and go to around your two second mark and make your position around 840 so it zooms in. So 
So select those keyframes and easy ease them. Then go to your graph editor and make sure your speed graph is like this. Yeah. Then alt click position and add a simple expression. So type in loop out quotation ping pong quotation. So our animation loops out. So we're going to animate our light as well. So press P for position. And make this 10, 16 and make this to 94 sorry we're going to increase make this minus um so we're going to make this minus 294 yeah create a keyframe for position and go to your two second mark then you change these values to 880 and make this minus 1970 yeah so you're going to easy these keyframes and go to your graph editor and make your graph your speed graph like this and still add that same expression so alt click your position and type loop out quotation ping pong in quotation so your showroom is ready to go so once you bring in an, a png image and make it a 3d layer it snaps in all you need to adjust is your scale i'll make my scale 180 185 and make my position and make my position minus 180 Think I'll increase it so I'll make it minus 1100. So once you do that, your animation is ready to go. I'll preview this so you see how it looks. So your animation is ready to go, but I want to add a, a slight rotation to it to improve on it. So that's what we're going to do. So press R for rotation and click on the stopwatch for orientation. Go to two, take that keyframe to two seconds and keep this around 350 so we have this slight rotation going on here so i'm going to easy these keyframes and go to my graph editor and keep my speed graph like this then add the same expression so alt click orientation and type loop out quotation ping pong yeah and you see it has this slight rotation going on which is even more cool so it's very easy for the light behind most of you might not like it so if you want to desaturate it and make it dark just add a U in saturation and reduce your master light so it looks more in depth with it and to create shadows just create a new shape layer and make your feel black and draw a circle like this on the and just pre-compose the layer and and add a gaussian blur to make it look real and make it a 3d layer as well so it snaps in place which is very easy so you have this cool animation going on and here comes your bonus tip so if you're interested in changing the colors you can go to your wave color comp and just change the gradient ramp for those shape layers. Once you've done that, you can copy that effect and paste it on all the other shape layers as well. And it takes effects on your main comp. You can easily apply a texture. I downloaded this cardboard texture from Freepik. So once you apply it, it affects your main comp and your animation is set and ready to go. So for more content like this, a sub to the channel will be more notifying. And thanks for watching and always stay creative.